Hi everybody, welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at how to make this elbow joint in the tutorial. Um, it's quite a, a fun one to do. We're going to be working off of a technical drawing. Um, it's always good to be able to read a technical drawing. Um, so this will just give you a bit of practice into that, as well as learn a few new tips and techniques. So let's get into the video. To get started with our elbow, I'm going to have a look at the technical drawing. I've opened it up in another tab on uh, Fusion. So as you can see there, we, that's what we're working with. Um, I didn't want to overlay it and trace it like I've done before. I wanted to work this as a technical drawing problem. So I'm going to take all these measurements as millimeters. Um, so to get started, we're going to draw this path, the center path. That's what we're going to use to extrude our circle. So we'll draw this path on the plane and then we will draw a circle and extrude. So I can see here from that point to that point is 160 millimeters. Um, so that will be the same from there to there as you can see. So I will start by selecting my front plane. I'm going to draw a sketch on the front plane using the origin to locate it. I'll draw a line down 160 and across also 160 so that's what we're starting with for the path um, now we need this curve we can see it's got a radius of 60 so we'll go put in that radius uh, I will use the fillet tool select that corner and we want 60 so there, that's the path that we're using to create our uh, uh, sweep on, our finish sketch. Now we need to have a plane at the end of this point. So we'll go construct a plane along path and select the path. I'll move this all the way to the end and we'll be able to draw our sketch on this plane. So there's our point. We'll go in here and see what the diameter is. The outer diameter is 72 and the inner diameter is 60. So I'll draw that uh, center point circle on that point and sweep it along that whole path. So 72 outer diameter, 60 inner diameter. So we'll go center diameter circle, so 60. Another one, 72. Okay, and then we finish sketch. Now I will use the sweep tool, sweep this profile, not the inner profile, I want to sweep this profile along this path. Now if we have a look, there we've got our, our sweep along the path, a hollow tube. Um, now we need to put these flanges on, but we'll see now I did the full length up to there was 160 millimeters. So we are going to add our flanges and extrude in that direction so that we can, uh, we, we don't overdo it. So if we look at our flange over there, that's what we're working with. Um, we got a, the radius of that is 42. Um, so let's get that and then we'll add the rest on. There's a 20 millimeter uh, diameter there, 20 millimeter there, and that radius is 20 from that center point. And if we look there, there are 120 apart. So let's see how much of this I can remember. Um, so 42. We'll draw a sketch now on this front plane here on the end of the pipe. And we're going to be extruding away from this plane that we're drawing on. So we will go, I want to borrow this point here, and 42, so that's 84, because that's the diameter is 84. So there's that part, and then we've got a couple of center point circles at 20, another one down here. I'll line them up now. 
So we'll draw these. And I'm going to put a horizontal vertical constraint on. So now they're all constrained to that. So that one's been done. And we also have these. The distance is 60. And this distance is also 60. So in total, that's 120 millimeters. Okay, so these are now constrained. So we've got this with a radius of 20. So that's the diameter of 40. Do the same at the bottom from the center point, 40. Now it's starting to look sort of like our flange over there, but we just need to get rid of those extra bits and add the outer lines in. So I'm just going to draw a straight line. I'm going to draw it up here so it's not touching. I'm doing this intentionally um, so that I can constrain them as best as possible. Tangent, tangent that with that, tangent this line with that circle. I can just trim these off. I'll do the same thing here. Tangent with that and tangent this line with there and we can see uh, I was worried it wouldn't be long enough but I can see it's coming past so we could and we'll do the same on the other side let me just trim that and then we'll get to trimming the inside so another line up here and over there we'll use the tangent constraint again And notice it's important to have the, the thing you're constraining against to be constrained itself or else you're going to have things moving around sort of randomly. So there we've got that shape and I just need to remove these internal dimensions that are no longer needed. Okay, so with that done, we're going to finish this sketch and now we're going to extrude it out. It is 10 millimeters, so we're going to extrude that out 10 millimeters and keep the holes. So we'll go extrude and we're going to just view sideways here. 10 millimeters, it's correct profile. Okay, so that's the first one done. At this stage we could choose to mirror this uh, sketch and place it over here, but for the sake of practice, let's do it again on this face. So we'll go there to that face. Let me just get this in the right orientation. <coughs> so again, center diameter circle. That was 42.84. And then we had another two center diameter circles. Uh, that one's 29, not 20. There we go. So we'll drag them more or less where they need to be. And then we'll use the horizontal vertical constraint. So select it. Select the points. And now we need to dimension them. So they are 60. So that's correct. Now you could either go to there 60. Or let's this time just go to there and say 120. Now if we had to move this dimension, let's say make that 50, it would adjust our top one. So that way one, one constraint is affecting another. But it is constrained the way it is. Um, it's just your preference on how you want to do it. And then we had these center diameter circles, which are 40. Another one here, also 40, and then we've got our lines, so I'll go back in, make my lines just go past there, do the bottom ones first, I'll make them tangent and then I will um, trim them. Okay, 
T for trim. And we'll do the same with the top. So you can see it really doesn't matter what order you do things in, as long as you're getting all your dimensions right. So we'll make that tangent again. This one tangent to, to that. Tangent there and tangent here. Now we'll trim. And there we go, we've got the, um, got the shapes we're looking for. And once again, we will extrude. Uh, we'll extrude this to minus 10. So we're almost there now. Looking pretty good. There's a few details. So what we haven't done yet, we've done all of this. Um, we have not put in this three millimeter radius there, nor have we put in this chamfer four by four millimeters by 45 degree angle. So we'll add that in and then we're done. So we'll go back in here. We will select the fillet tool. I'll select that circle and that circle and it was three millimeters. Enter. So you can see now we've got a nice little fillet on the edge there. Now all that's left for us to do is add these chamfers in. Um, I think it was a four millimeter chamfer. Let's go chamfer. I'll select that circle and this top one here. You can see we could have a variable chamfer, um, but then it wouldn't be 45. So I could make that um, two distant chamfer and say make that six millimeters, but it'll change it from 45. So I'll go equal distance, they four millimeters. Okay, and now what we're looking at is our final drawing. Now that pipe is exactly what we've got in this drawing. Just to prove it to you, I'm just going to go into a section view over here. We'll go S, type in section analysis. And we want to use this plane as our cutting plane. So there it's cut it for us and we can see if we look here we've got the three millimeter radius we've got our 45 degree chamfer we've got our holes and it's looking spot on according to our plans i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe uh, maybe share the video um, you can find this uh, the link to this image is in the description um, and if you have any queries or need some assistance with any of your work, please email me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com or leave a comment down in the comment section. Till next time.